sounds like a grueling full time job, man. And you fucking hate your coworkers, you hate your boss, you hate the job, you hate everything about it. You know, but you get the paycheck. We're here to make you laugh, we're here to make you think, here to make you bring up discussions with your friends. That's what that's what the blank hell is here for. The only reason that jealousy even exists is because we put too much value in things rather than we do life. So being distracted or worried about things that you cannot control in your life in any way right now is a waste of energy and a waste of time. Because by that time, you know, you know, homegirl had been, you know, dude, I guess used her up or whatever. <laughs> and and then, you know, my baloney has a first name it's (laughs) (laughs) o-s-c-a-r We had a bologna sandwich, nigga. <laughs> no, I had bologna sandwich a year, man. What makes you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! Where did where, where that come from, man? I don't even know, man. <laughs> See, hungry, y'all. He <laughs> <laughs> struggle hungry. <laughs> Man, I hate like I would keep it real bad. I don't even like like cold cut sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, that's like, the last thing I want to eat, man. It would have to be like some wings, some pizza, it's a Chinese food, and then, like some like even like some fried chicken from like Bojangles. Then <laughs> I would think about get like a cold cut from like Jimmy John's. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid with that one, dog. <laughs> man, what's been up with you, man? Man, feeling feeling pretty good. You know, it's a brand new week. Another chance for us to get it right, you know. Just, I'm no complaints, man. I'm, I'm feeling good. How about you, man? You know, I'm you know living life, you know, you know, trying to relax, you're trying to enjoy my weekends more, man. Cause yeah, well, with, with, with my job, man, I, you know, I constantly, you know, kind kind of get tired of, so I like constantly think about it, especially when it start getting like like on Sundays, I be pissed off, like, oh, <laughs> man, I gotta go to work on Monday, and then, you know, everybody has that feeling, but <laughs> yeah. I'm starting like just. You know, try to like live in the moment more because I rarely do that. I'm the kind of dude that's always thinking about something else when I'm doing something. Yeah. <clears throat> Not like simply focus on that one thing. I'm always worried about, okay, what else could I do? You know, mm-hmm. I want to just kind of just enjoy the moment. You know, I'd be, the, I'd be that dude that'd be like watching like a movie. And hopefully yeah. Watching the movie, I'd be like, all right, man, I could be, I'd be, you know, I could be at home doing something and not even enjoying the damn movie. <laughs> 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 you know, fucking shit up, but. <laughs> Other than that, man, I had a great weekend, man, and um, I saw something real fucked up uh, on TV, and I was telling you about it before we got on air, is this uh, show called uh, Legends of Chamberlain Heights. Yeah. And y'all, if none, any of y'all have seen it, man, it's, uh, it's a very interesting show, so it's about three dudes, like two two black dudes and this white kid that are like bench warmers on a basketball team, middle school basketball team, and it's like, think of like <laughs> the the... Get those people you know making a TV show, or like some like one ghetto writer, like one like ghetto person that's a writer on the stand, but the rest of them white people, and the whole time they just like watching his mannerisms, like yeah, yeah, we can use that, yeah. And so <laughs> I was watching the show, and they had one scene on the show where the guy pretty much like one of the main characters had messed up shoes, and he was trying to holler at this girl, and the guy called him out for having messed up shoes. He was like, hey, man, I got to get my street cred up. I, I need something. And so they were sitting on the couch watching this, uh, t- watching TV, and the commercial came on talking about introducing the shackles. Now, <laughs> y'all just listen to the name. Y'all can pretty much figure out what I'm about to say next. So this is this is the part where I was like, okay, I can't watch this show anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> right after they said that, they showed, like, plantation. They showed slaves in the plantation picking cotton. <laughs> and I was like, come on, man. And then, like, an old man came out of a barn holding a basketball, put it over his head, talking about, I's got it. And then, <laughs> and then like, he passed the basketball to one of the his other fellow slaves, and they started bas- bouncing the ball on, like, dirt, on a dirt, like, the dirt track, bouncing it towards the slave, the slave uh, master. 
and they jump over him, and as they jump over, talking about eyes free, and then like <laughs> the, the his shackles come off and they turn into shoes, and then like he he gets a jersey on, uh, he gets a basketball jersey on, he dunks the ball, talking about get your ass some shackles, and I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's so many deep metaphors behind that shit as far as <laughs> being a slave to clothes and and jewelry and items and stuff, and then like. Yeah. You know that like people have a slave mentality, being you know pretty much being a slave to idols, and I was like, man, yeah. like I can't like I turned it off after that, man. And I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> I, I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason I was laughing because I was like, man, how could this is me being naive? I was like, man, how could it still be getting on TV in 2016? But yeah, get a, we get a slave movie like every we get like two slave movies a year for like the, the like the past like five years. So this is nothing else. That's nothing surprising. Yeah, yeah, man. And, so, and also, like, you gotta think about, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you know you can't laugh at anybody else. So, at a certain extent, <laughs> we kind of—I don't know—we kind of told in those lines. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. We told lines all the time, man. You know, but just like you know, uh, we opened up the first uh, African American um, museum. Yeah. Uh, just like a couple of weeks ago, and like. It's a 99 year old woman that was there, and her uh, her father was a slave. So that just shows that we're not that far removed from slavery. No, we're not. We're not, man. I mean, it's just that mentality. Some, yeah, somebody just as close as like our great grandfathers or something like that. Yep, so. man. It's not even that generation. It's not even a generation removed. No. Yeah, man. So <laughs> that kind of mindset, you know, from both sides are still there and prevalent is being taught. Yeah, as down instead of you know being eradicated. So you know we still got a long ways to go, man. But you know I just thought I thought that was funny. They had another scene on there where a guy was smoking weed on the couch and talking about you want to be a small dick nigga smoking that smoking that dirt that dirt grass with seeds in it all your life. <laughs> I fucking kill you, college. <laughs> 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 and he's smiling to go off, and then the guy smoking weed talking about that's some real shit, man. <laughs> I was like, man, if y'all don't get this shit off TV, man, watch this shit get like 20 seasons. Probably. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Be on this, like, at least, I'll say this show at least gets like five seasons, man. I wouldn't doubt it, man. Yeah, because they got all those, they got like those stereotypes on it. Yep. Got millennials of this generation that are watching it, and they don't know any better because they're, you know, their friends say the N word, and you know, and they, and they think it's cool, and I, I just never understand that crap, man. It's just different, different yeah. generations, man. <laughs> Well, you know, enough of that shit, man. You know, <laughs> welcome to another week. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another great week of the Blake Canvas podcast. You know, we're a yeah. top show that comes on every Wednesday at 6 a.m. on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, you know, Audio Mac. We see Audio Mac listeners. We love y'all. Yeah. And iTunes as well. And, you know, and also hit us up on, you know, Twitter. We're on Twitter and we're also on uh, Facebook at the Blank Canvas ECST, you know, come drop us a line, hit us a follow, you know, hit a subscribe button. And yep. you know, that's how we're doing, and, you know, you know, keep the show rolling. But I guess we go ahead and, you know, get into the news. Let's get it. All right, man. So, if everybody haven't heard by now, uh, you know, Kim Kardashian got robbed while she was in Paris uh, for ten million dollars worth of jewelry and you know, cell phones. So, you know, with those with those cell phones, I think they, you know, I, I think they could have pretty much doubled the price as far as like whatever's on those cell phones. So you said it up to like the highest bidder as far as like TMZ. Yeah. Like, you know, the other trash website. So they can, like, you know, they, we pretty much already seen her naked. But we yeah. could also probably have her in some, like, more compromising positions. <laughs> <laughs> like, we ain't, like, we ain't seen enough. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We've seen every hole that she has to offer. Yeah, I know. Maybe we've seen it all. But people still follow her on Instagram. And she, like, you know... Butt naked and holding her titties, talking about just getting out the shower, and people talking about, man, I'll drink your bath water. <laughs> Come on, man. Type in Google Kim Kardashian, you'll get to see it, you'll get over it. You know what I'm saying? 
like let that shit go. But uh, the funny thing about it was that St and I were talking about it uh, before the show. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> "What did Ray J really get out of the deal?" <laughs> because <laughs> we were like, <laughs> the dude, like he had the sex tape, so you know this. So this is a sex tape. Yeah. And he was just pretty much like, man, I'm about to become famous off of this, man. And, like, you yeah. been here about the dude. And, you know, she continues to, like, make millions. And he's struck wow. thriving, dude. <laughs> and, like, he's on, like, love of hip-hop Hollywood just talking, you know, just trying to stay relevant, man. So, he, 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 he's barely executive producing the show. <laughs> 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 so, like, if you think about it, man, this is like, okay – before the sex tape came out, like Ray J, I mean he he peaked a little bit, and you know I, I think by the time the sex tape came out, it was just like all right, so we can talk about Ray J for about what maybe five more minutes. But who is that girl though? And you know I, I, all of a sudden like she just started taking off. After that, there was only like maybe one or two times in which Ray J's name was like even brought up again. That was. During the, uh, I, I guess the whole love and hip hop thing when this whole started. And then T Pain talking about him in the little interview that he did. Oh, what, <laughs> and, what did T Pain say? <laughs> remember, he was talking about, he was like, uh, this is where the whole no homo started. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that bullshit. Yeah, because he was talking yeah. about him in the sex tape. Yeah, he said, no homo, but, you know, Ray J got big meat, you know, so. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I remember remember that shit, man. Like, I don't care if you say no homo before. Yeah, because no homo, uh, no homo went on for, like, years after that. Yes, Yes, it did. Yeah, people said no homo for, like, everything, man. Yeah. It was like, yeah, man, no homo, man, but you wearing them jeans for you right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> like what you saying? I said no. <laughs> so you know that gave like you know that gave gay dudes the opportunity to like test like field dudes out. Yeah. It's like all I gotta do is say no homo. He he can't get at me like that. But if you know you know if he like smiles, then we might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> How systems go? <laughs> but like after the sex tape, man, like. All he had was that one hit. It was like, if a hit, one, one wish. <laughs> remember that rendition we made? Talking about, I ever had one wish, that was juice come out my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, like, he, like, he wore that hit out, man. Like, yeah, he did. What, like, what one hit wonder, like, what one hit songs I like, got worn down besides, like, the Macarena? And like the Gundam style song, like that shit got worn out just like that. And uh, I, yeah. man, um, yeah. this yeah. is why I'm hot. Mims. Yep, that song. <laughs> that shit was a one hit one, and they wore that junk out. You hear that shit at the club almost yeah. everywhere, dude. Yeah, I remember that shit, man. What are they nigga doing now? Uh, I, I guess they're making music. I ain't really heard nothing though, but. Well, I guess because ain't nobody really checking for him, so I'm, I'm sure he's still making music. Yeah, man, that's that's just that's that sucks, man. Just having a. And I saw I saw him at a beat battle once, like not not too long ago. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so okay. With beat battles, like what goes on with that? Do they like they just like? <laughs> it's just producers that uh compete against each other, pretty much. They just would see who's see who's got the best beats, and you know there's a usually a panel of three. Three, uh, I guess, quote unquote, high profile judges, <laughs> <laughs> given the name Mims. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and they judge based off, you know, I, 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 you know, different categories that that you, um, as a producer, that you put up against. So you know, you you have your, you you have like a a remix um, section. You might have like a, an original section, or you know, like a um uh a snap section or something like that you know it's just it's different categories of beats that you know you have to make you know in order to impress judges and you know i i guess you know get get your way to you know a nice a nice solid platform so you can start building your catalog 
<clears throat> okay, so do like there's any money on the line or is just like for respect? Um, there can be. Usually the grand prize winner it, they they might get like some, you know, some a, some little cash, but I think the biggest thing is like the experience that you get to go uh to somebody's studio like you might be able to get to you know go to LA and work mm-hmm. with Snoop or something like that or you know uh go to LA and work you know work with a prominent artist you know this oh. is, this this is basically just a chance for you to get you know a chance for you to you know I guess impress somebody else so it's it's basically you got to come with it yeah it ain't just yeah. you win the B battle and that's it like you got to come with it after that too so you, you know yeah, man. It's, like it's, it's a it's a nice look if you win it though. Oh, that's definitely a nice look, man. Cause pretty much, man, music the music industry is is like that's like one of the hardest things to get into. I think that's even harder to get into than sports. Like making a yeah, a, so like athlete, man, that's just tough. It's not a joke, man. So. Yeah, it's definitely not a joke, man. Especially cause like <laughs> my barbers, man. When I used to go to barber shop for you know, I went ahead and had to cut you know had to cut it off. Like what am I uh? The barber I didn't get my hair cut by, but one of them, like man, he made he made beats. He like he like he like damn near forty. He like yeah man, I got some beats you listen to him. I'm like nah man. <laughs> 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 like cause when he like came to me with it, I was just kind of like look side. I was like what? Like are you a barber? Or you which one are you doing? Like you know barber by day, you know do the beats by night. Like which one is it, homie? Like you know I ain't gonna ever like you know down somebody's dream, but you know you yeah. might want to just put a hundred percent into it, but. And then, like, you know, he the kind of dude that's always talking about, like, yeah, man, that beat ain't hot. You know, I got a better beat than that. And then, like, they be playing it. And I was like, man, I need to get my ass out of here with this whack ass <laughs> playing on this bar. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, I, I thoroughly respect. That's the one thing about music, man. There's no foot in the door. Yeah. There's nobody that can help you out. You just got to have talent, and you got to get recognized, man. So everybody that's made it. Has made it on their own accord. Well, to some degree, um, uh, talented ones. Uh, again, to some degree, because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you look at Ray J. Like, to be honest, if it weren't for Brandy, he never would have made it in the game. Yeah, like, that's just that's the honest truth. If it weren't for Brandy, Ray J. wouldn't touch. He wouldn't touch a studio. Yeah, because of what her hard work got him, got his foot in the door, and all he got was one wish out of it. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> play, play, playing that shit at uh, Floyd Mayweather's house. He's like, "Play that shit, Ray J. Play that shit." And you can tell, you can tell he's not doing it, but he went ahead and did it though. <laughs> Be my monkey. Yeah, yeah. damn it. <laughs> not monkey. <damn. laughs> yeah, I'm worth six hundred million dollars. Be my monkey. Be my monkey. You know, then when you like. Like threw it like threw like twenty G's down on the piano. He was like, "If I had one wish, we would." <laughs> <laughs> like tears coming out his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get this money. <laughs> like man, shout out to you, Ray J. I you know I don't know how we went from talking about Kim, you know, having an unfortunate incident of getting robbed to. To your ass, like, but yeah, that just shows. That just shows that if you have like a. Because even with the sex tape, there was a business. There was like a, a business plan that they put out. Because yeah. they knew what they were doing. They were doing that man. And he didn't yeah, probably. Yeah, but I think they uh, had. I think they had some kind of fake conversation or whatever. But like she called him and left him like some kind of message, mm-hmm. uh, explaining how she was disgusted with him, I guess, or whatever. But mm-hmm. you know, she was all playing. But he yeah. had to. He had to probably that shit better, man. Than you know, what he had, he should have. He should have had a better business model because clearly Kim did. He did. Yes, she did. Well, I don't know if Kim did, but I know Chris did. Yeah. <laughs> they, had, they had that shit all planned, man. And yeah. Look at her now, man. Like, yeah. Chris, Chris she, Jenner had that from, she had that from the beginning, sitting back yeah. like, good, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Show them how big a slut you are. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to turn you into a damn international superstar. <laughs> off of yeah, that, that shit's always gonna blow my mind, man. And then like this shit, what make it so what make it so crazy? It could happen again, but I don't see it happening. Yeah, it could. Oh, yeah, it could definitely see it happening again. She's got to be, be all you gotta do is just be beautiful, dude. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy how like you know that 
that crazy stigma can pretty much get you anything you want. Like I was just looking at some uh, things not too long ago, man, just, you know, just at my job, uh, you know, just processing things and just seeing how people who literally have uh, not not one ounce of intelligence at all, mm-hmm. but, you know, steadily move up in the company. And I just be like, wow, like she's dumb as rocks and y'all promoting her. I- yeah, man, we're the most superficial, you know, human beings are, are by nature superficial. Yeah. But I wonder if like we can go back in time and get a picture of what's that sister name that's on um Ghostbusters? What's her name? Leslie. What Leslie Jones? Yeah, get a picture of Leslie Jones and just instill in the people's minds like this is beauty, and just see if we could change the mindset of humanity to see yeah. that as being like the picture, a picturesque of like what a human being should look like to be beautiful, and yeah. see if shit sticks. Because it's it's you know we're all creatures. Of, you know we, we all want to be accepted. Yeah, we all just want to be liked, and if we all just agree with something, everybody going to agree with it. That would be a great, that would be like a great study to get like, like twenty kids, and like just you know put isolate them from society, yeah. and just the opposite of what we're taught here as far as like what's what's beauty, what's intelligence, how they're taught, and how they see how they come out, and to see how they you know. Pretty much get accustomed to the to this world that we live in, man. And they'll probably yeah. see us as being weird, or they'll probably sit like, or see how long it will take them to assimilate to how we are now, just going under peer pressure. That would mm-hmm. be a, that would be an amazing study, man. Just get just um hate to say it, but get some orphans, some orphan kids. That's the only yeah. way they're gonna you know they'll really work. That'd be a great case. That'd be a great case study, man. It's probably already been done. I need to research that. Just to see if they just took some kids and just taught them, you know, different philosophies in life that's, you know, t- not taught in the norm in a regular society. Yeah. See how they function, see how they succeed once they're, you know, released to the world. Um, half of them would probably just be mind fucked and be like, man, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to think of. This world's crazy. Or yeah. they might end up being smarter than everybody else because, like, the, the smartest people I've ever run into have people that's been, you know, homeschooled. Yeah. And they weren't, you know, they weren't, they weren't, you know, they didn't go to public school or private school. Yeah, because they didn't have no bullshit being uh, fed to them on a day to day basis. Yeah, watch this video while I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Why watch watch this movie? <laughs> but but this is supposed to be geography class. Watch this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With Mel Gibson in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong person they be watching movie about. <laughs> Not about that bastard. No, I'm never, never forget that shit. The Patriot. <laughs> yeah. Talk about who we get attacked by a pack of niggers. Like, a, a, a pack? It can't just be like one or two has to be a pack, a pack of them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then like, then, like, a couple of, uh, like, a, like two or three years later, he was in a movie. Like, it doesn't happen? Yeah, pretty much. Start Mel Gibson. Have you forgotten yet? If not, yeah. who did <laughs> I mean, that's usually how it works, though. Like, you know, they think people are stupid, and then they just go ahead and sweep stuff over the rug. Man, eh, it's okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll forget. Yeah. This is a forgiving nation. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah, a fifth chance. <laughs> he just didn't get at uh, black people. He was on Jews, too. Like, he was getting on everybody, man. Yeah. It was a hellacious, like, like, race, like racist rant, dude. It was like one of the... The worst racist rants I've heard since like Donald Sterling. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that shit was fucked up. Well, yeah, I don't, it, but you know, shots to you, Ray J. You know, keep doing your thing. Hopefully, you can you know you can squeeze out uh, at least like eight more seasons of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. <laughs> I I like that shit, but you know, get get your, get your money, man, while you can. Yeah. Cause you you didn't do the right player. But let that be a, like for real, let that be a lesson. Let it be a lesson to people that you know are getting to. You know, or being business partners with, you know, your significant other or your friends. Yeah. Or, learn. you know, or family. Learn from Ray J. Learn from Ray J, man. Like, seriously, <laughs> you're being serious. Like, have an exit strategy or, or just have a have a backup plan besides that, that partner. Yeah. So, you go ahead and get some money, money at the game, too. Don't just, you know, get your twos and fuse. And she over here got apps 
and making yeah. a million dollars off of a game that that brings in like a million dollars a day. Like, man, get get your shot the game too, man. Like, all you got was a nut. That was it. That was it. Like, literally, in the end, that's what all you really got. Pretty much. All right, man. You can get that shit. You can get that shit any day. And I and uh, I guess a wife from from his show that he produced. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's about it. But man, enough of that. Enough of that bullshit. All right. On our, another stuff, another piece of news that we have, man. I'm gonna ask you this, St. Give me your honest answer. Would you risk your life to travel to Mars? Uh, no. Shit, me either. But. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elon Musk, the you know, you know, the founder of the SpaceX and you know the Tesla cars. Tesla. Yeah, yep. Tesla says uh he's pretty much trying to get a hundred people to go to Mars by the year twenty twenty five, which is not that far off. No, it's not. Not that far off at all, man. So the plan is to get a hundred humans to Mars with a high chance of the participants could die. Duh. Wow. So yeah, so pretty much you're going, and you know you're not coming back. You got a one way ticket to go uh, to go to Mars, man. Like, ah, I don't know if I could do that, man. Like, the only reason most people now this is the reason everybody's gonna do it. That's uh, you know pretty much on this um, spacecraft going to Mars. You're you gonna be part of history forever. Yeah, you're gonna be the first people to colonize Mars. That's 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 your legacy. Yeah, that's what, that, you're gonna be remembered forever. Like you're gonna yeah. be like a trivia question like in the year three thousand, like who were the first people to go to Mars? And you're gonna be one of those people. If you wanna be remembered like that, you wanna like leave a legacy because you know, you kinda didn't, you know, get to be who you wanted to be, this is your opportunity. Yeah. And I'm saying yeah. that's, that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I you know, I, I think for anybody who, you know, feels that, that they're not adequate enough down here, you know, if if you feel like, you know, building your legacy on a different planet will be sufficient and by all means go ahead and you know indulge but just just know what you are getting into know that there's you know a, a slight chance for survival um it's like a man it gotta uh, be like a, how much how much like what what percentage would you put on it of them making it there like even them making it there which what percentage do you would you put on it uh i give it i i give it about 80 percent I think shit, that's high, man. I'll I'll put it at like shit. I know, like fifty percent, man. That man, I, but I just you, don't know. But you think about you think about uh uh-huh. um just how how wonderful we are as people. Um, you know, um, the, our abilities to develop some of the greatest technologies here on Earth. Yeah, you know, why not? You know, uh, have the utmost confidence in ourselves. Why, why shouldn't we have, you know, some of the smartest people developing, you know, some some of the things that could help us travel to different planets and, you know, see if there's a possibility for colonization. Um, you know, I don't think we should sell ourselves short. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, especially I mean, we're human beings. Like we're, we're the most, you know, the most intelligent species on this earth that we know of. Yeah. So, you know, why not? I, I wouldn't do it, but you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I hey, just like you know, those that serve in the military, I take my hat off. If if that's if that's what you want to do, by all means, you know, become a part of history and you know, blaze the trail. Yeah, man. I yeah, I will say this: at least ten people that are going uh, to Mars, I, I put a I put a thousand bucks on it. That at least ten of them are going to be either prior military or oh, yeah. at least going to be prior military or they're in the military now, man. Yeah. At, at least, at least ten of them out of the hundred are going to be military. But some, I'm gonna read you some of the quotes of some of the people that say they were willing to go. They said one person from Alabama said, much like the religious groups colonizing of the New World, you have the opportunity to shape society with your existence. Yeah. The legends and cultures of this future society will be influenced by your actions. You will be the people's legends are, are written about, and you might be the new Ab- the next Abraham Lincoln. I'm like that, but people might <laughs> <laughs> tell tall tales. <laughs> <of your age. laughs> I ain't hating y'all. Just keep it real. And it's like tell tall tales of your hidden wealth, or you might be known for your um your infamous villainy. You might be one of the men and women who uh, throw off the shackles. Uh, they go that word again of oppressive. 
<laughs> I mean, throw out the oppressive shackles, uh, oppressive companies, or you might be one of those who ensures their, um, their whole and success. And if you're never directly attributed to anything, and if you live a quiet life, the way you live, your, your attitudes, the culture you help, the political learnings, and all that will contribute to the ingrained memory of this new society. You will be one of the people who help shape the identity of the new society, and the opportunity to be part of the, uh, is worth the risk of dying on the way out there. So, like we said before, this is from a 25-year-old. This is pretty much saying before, like, you know, you will be one of the first. You will have a legacy. This will be your legacy. And people yeah. will always remember you for who you are. And then I read, like, one more that was kind of interesting. This is somebody from um, New Jersey. He's 32. He said, I don't think civilization uh, progresses without taking risk and making sacrifices. I, I also I agree. You say, if my death provides valuable insight into preventing future deaths in space, then it is worthwhile. That's admirable. You say, yeah. admittedly, though, it will suck to suffocate in the depths of space. <laughs> <laughs> it's more romantic than the deaths I'm statistically most likely to experience here, like cancer, heart attack, or car crash. Yeah. It says, when I was growing up, NASA was much more a part of society, of a political, uh, a public consciousness, and I dreamed of becoming an astronaut. I hope recent advanced technology and press coverage of new efforts to Mars will lead to renewed interest in science and public schools. <clears throat> yeah, man. So that's from a 32 year old. And they had another personnel here. She's 18. Talk about, um, talk about if we go, if we, if we go to Mars, we might finally, you know, get in contact with aliens. Aliens might finally get in contact with us and all that other stuff, and you, you know. You already know you got to have one that's going to oh, bring yeah. something like that up. And, and, and number one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, number one. Yeah, that would be jacked up, dude. If they did get to Mars, man, and then like the aliens are there. Yeah. And, and I, I like a feel like, oh, we made it, and then like you see like a black screen come up, like whoosh. You know, <laughs> see, like you hear like some like yong 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 yong, and we're like, oh lord, zip 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 zip, and this shit turn off, and then like you see an alien. Like look at them, look at the screen, and they like crush the camera, and they'd be like, "That was, that was all for nothing." That'd be che- <laughs> that'd be jacked up. Yeah. Oh man, it'd be jacked up. But man, like the only way I could see myself doing it, going to Mars and being one of the people to to you know colonize you know a whole new planet. Like uh, either like my whole family would have to be wiped out, and I'm talking about like my my first second cousins. I'm like the only one left. Yeah, and I ain't been out, you know, you know, cause I, you know, I ain't married or anything. So if I don't have, you know, wife or kids by that time, and then they were willing to go ahead and say, hey, you know, we really want you to go, and they really like, persuade me. But other than that, man, no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not doing that jump. Nobody care yeah. about. I'm not the kind of person that wants to leave my legacy in that way, where I'm just yeah, have to be famous or have to be known for something. Not that it's just uh-huh. like I'm just gonna just. This is my, like, you know, how some people just try to desperately find ways to be famous, like you said. Yeah. Like, like you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that clown the home run. He yeah, I was just about to say. Yep. I mean, <laughs> he, he ain't giving up, folks. <laughs> no, man, he coming. <laughs> you will remember his name. <laughs> oh, man, like, dude, it's going to be, we're going to, no, I'm telling you, we're going to be 80 years old, and we're going to be sitting up somewhere chilling, you know, at a, uh, at a, and like a little coffee, or like like at a Starbucks or whatever, and people are gonna be like, "You remember Tim Tebow?" And we're gonna be like, "Oh my God, shut up! He's dead. He he only on cocaine. You know? <laughs> he was as holy as we thought he was. Like, <laughs> cause you know that junk gonna come down one day, dude. You gonna just like hear something about like him like OD on cocaine or I hope or, not. Or, or, or PCP or some junk. <laughs> <laughs> man, speaking of which, I saw. We'll get back on this in a second. But speaking of which, man, I saw like this effed up video because I'm not gonna lie, man. I haven't been on World Star Hip Hop in like three years. I ain't been on that site in three years, but man, I got bored. This what happens when you get bored, y'all. So I, <laughs> I went on World Star and I saw this video. that was like a uh, guy uh, coked up, not not you know, pretty much high on PCP. And the video was sad, dude. Like the dude was on the on the ground in the middle of the street on the concrete, rolling back and forth like a fish out of water. So I was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. And, then, 
all the people were doing there was just like filming it and like looking at them, then showing the film of themselves laughing and then filming him. And then like one part, they was just like, like pouring a beer on his head. And he was talking to him, huh, and people was like, who you talking to, bro? Bro, who I need to get? Huh? I can't hear you, bro. And I was like, dude, I need to get him help. And then like, <laughs> and then what makes it so bad, these dirty bastards, they're like, it was an eight minute video. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the end up part about it, man. Like, this shit was, it was an eight minute video, dog, and they're just filming him laughing. And then people, like, at one part, at one point, they just, somebody took a water hose and started spraying him. The time I, cause somebody was like, he needs some water. Like, I got him. And he started spraying his whole body and not getting him some water, let him drink some water. So, man, and then that made me Google what PCP was, and I found out, like, what it does to you. And I was like, why would you, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> and I, was, I, was, I was like, why would you take it? And then I was just start thinking about like, why would you do this to yourself? But you know, I guess just to escape the the, the reality that you live in, man, only for a second. Yeah, but that that shit, I ain't gonna lie, man, that that, that shit was funny for a second. I was like, man, this is effed up. Yeah, I, I mean, well, you gotta think about it, man. Um, what's that hip hop is a cancer, <laughs> dude. Dude, it is, man. I'll tell you another video. I'll tell you another video I watched was actually kind of interesting after you finish. Yeah, it's it's a cancer. It, it the only thing that world style hip hop is good for is to be honest is to get a quick nut so you can stroke your dick. Yep, twerk yeah. twerk videos. Yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> that's uh, about other than, yeah, other than that, it, it's just showing us, you know, defacing ourselves even more. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm over world star hip hop. Yeah, man, but um, cause ain't nothing world star or hip hop about it. It's sure not, man. It's not. The <laughs> physical talent that they have on there is like user submitted, and then yeah. Yeah, you look, you look like man, and then it has a whole bunch of have a whole bunch of hits, and then all the comments are just toxic. Like you Pretty ain't much. never gonna make it. Why you won't hear this junk, uh, this junk garbage? And if you're you know highly influenced, that could fuck f up your whole career. Yeah, and I mean, nine times out of two, the comments are right, but, you know, you don't want to tell nobody that. <laughs> you know, you're trying to, you know, give some people hope. But um, another one that was kind of, that was really interesting, where they showed, like, a documentary of heroin addicts in Vancouver. Mm. And the thing about it is, there's a clinic that's in Vancouver where, instead of them trying to get you off of it, they give it to you two times a day. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, let me tell you the story. So they followed around this one um, lady that was in her 40s where she's been a heroin addict since she was 12 because her mama got her on it. Oh. Yeah, man, she was 12 years old. And now, you know, she's grown and she has a 24, uh, 24-year-old daughter. And pretty oh, much, man. yeah, man, and then the daughter has brain tumors. She has a brain tumor and a spinal <sighs> And she's real sickly, man. And she said, you know, they're walking in the park. It's like sometimes when uh, we're, we're walking for a long period of time, she has to sit down because she gets real nauseous. And, you know, it's just kind of sad. And the girl looked real frail. You can see, like, her femur bone in her leg. And you can tell she's, like, real real sickly. And they had her, like, on a jacket just to cover up so you really could see how frail she was. And the story about the lady was just kind of messed up because mm. she was just pretty much saying before she found this clinic, uh, she would rob. She would steal from department stores every day. She stole from her daughter. Her daughter like had a, a bank and a, a checking account. She stole five hundred bucks out of there. Dang. Used that for cocaine. She's talking about I had to take five hundred dollars from my daughter and face her the next day and tell her what I did with the money. You know that was the worst thing I ever did in my life. And I'm just like Jesus Christ, man. Like like heroin gets a hold of you. She's talking about she she talked about her first experience of taking heroin when she was twelve. She was just like. A warm feeling just went over my body, and I was just like, I must have more of it. I was mm-hmm. like, it's like, why didn't her mother give her a fucking chance, man? Yeah. It's just like, you don't care who it is, you'd rather just see anybody go down with you. Pretty much, man. So, uh, uh, the, you know, the human brain sometimes can be very sick, and, you know, if if it's not treated, it could get worse, you know, and, and try to tarnish the brains of other people. Yeah, man. So, you know, that's, that's why we really got to take care of ourselves. We got to take care of ourselves both physically, spiritually, and mentally. Because, you know, it is, 
it's not a joke out here, man. Like, oh, man. you know, stuff stuff like this is happening everywhere. So it definitely you know, is. But it's, you know, it's, it's sad to you know to hear about stuff like that because you know, yeah, you know. It, but I, I, it's it's our reality, though. You know, it, it really is, man. And then it was crazy because they only could take in a hundred patients uh, a year, and real quick, guess how much it cost the country. To provide heroin for one patient. Guess real quick and I'll tell you. Uh, five thousand. Twenty-seven thousand dollars a year. Woo! For one, and they and they and they pretty much furnish it for a hundred of people. And so they also showed one guy trying to get into the heroin clinic, and he's been trying for like the past six months. And the guy was just like, "Man, I, you know, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to get in there, but you know, at, while I'm trying, you know, I'm just." Trying to do whatever it takes to, to survive, and you could you could tell he didn't want to be on camera. He like he was looking down to the ground. He's like, you know, I had to do some crazy things just to, you know, get my get my fix just for one day. And you know, he pretty much alluded to like doing some like homosexual shit to get his get his fix. Yeah, but um, shit. yeah, man, shit, some fucked up shit, man. But yeah, I can kind of see. I could on a lesser degree, I could kind of see how. Drugs could be addictive because like everybody's addicted to something. You know, some people are addicted to caffeine. Yes. Because they drink coffee every day and they don't have it. They have like symptoms. They have they get headaches or they get real irritable. So take that to like the tenth degree with like cocaine and heroin. That is where it probably just like shuts your whole body down and you have probably have migraines and you probably like because I remember some of the symptoms if you don't get it is you know you get the shivers, your whole body goes cold and you pretty yeah. much need it to function. So yeah, man, that 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 junk like blew my mind, and and you could tell like the guy that runs the clinic, he kind of kind of likes his position because he always has somebody coming up to him, and he says like our job is to not get them off of it; it's just to make sure they can function in society because like the people in there, and, and they will get off of this, but the people that were in the clinic were saying, man, without the clinic, I'll be out there robbing and killing people to get my high, but now since I have this clinic. Yeah. You know, since I had a clinic and I had the heroin, you know, I can, you know, I can function and, you know, be myself. And the lady that was on the show was like, you know, because she had just taken her hit, taking her hit. Yeah. And she was like, look at me. Do I look high? You know, this is, you know, this is my, this is my normal. I need it. My system needs this to yeah. survive. So it's kind of like a necessary evil. Yep. Like they need it now. Yeah. So it's, it's like you, you prolong the problem, but you, you, <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> you don't make people worse by you know just cutting them off so yeah man it's just like like people say like with a diet or anything man you just can't go cold turkey man because your body's not used to it like you just can't do it to yourself man it's, it's, it's rough man and then like they had this one like this one indian dude because i really see indians he was like man he's like you know what i'd be doing if i didn't get my hair on every day running the casino no <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I had to do it. But, <laughs> but he was like, uh, I'm a, I, I'm the, I was kind of doing a bang, bang, stick him up kind of guy. I'm like, man, I'll rob you for mine. I'll rob you for mine. I'm going to get my shit. And I was like, Jesus. And he had like two teeth in his mouth. And I was like, <laughs> I was like Jesus, man. Like, that, that made me appreciate, you know, having a great upbringing and not having to, you know, resort to those kind of, you know, forms of forms of escapism, yeah, to make it through a day, man. Because I'm telling you, man, people out here, people out here are hurting and struggling, and you know, just trying to find, you know, their, you know, lease on life and find out why they're yeah. here. Because a lot of people just don't, you know, once they get older and they realize, you know, everybody, they, you know, in their eyes, they might see like, man, we're all the same, man. We all were lied to when we were kids. You know, like when you kids, like, oh, you're special. And like the kids that believe that and don't really become some of themselves, they'll be the main ones that just don't know how to, you know, cope with reality. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, and like they, like some people got on that through like other people. They might have tried it or somebody might have drugged them. So, you know, I kind of feel sorry for for you know like like a small percentage of, of addicts because they were yeah. put on that junk, you know, without them knowing. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are. Yep. Like, like I'm sure, I'm sure we've had like some uh some colleagues from school that you know have probably become addicts because someone you know um did something did them dirty like that, 
you know, maybe slip something in their drink at a party or something like that. And then next thing you know, you know, they out here bad. So. Yeah, man. It's just like the episode of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like the episode of American Dad where Stan got on crack. That shit was, <laughs> that shit was hilarious, man. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> oh, that was a funny episode, dude. That was hilarious. He's like, give me some of that humming up, ding, ding, old <laughs> Oh, Charlie Way. <laughs> That joke was funny, man. Y'all need to watch the episode. Y'all need to uh look that joke up on uh, either like Netflix or like Hulu. Look up uh like Google it, like stand on cocaine and watch the yeah. episode. That episode was freaking hilarious, man. <laughs> but um Yeah, man. I just don't know. Back to the the Elon Musk you know, going to Mars thing, like right? my my little take on it is like You will be you will be remembered forever. Yeah. And you have to have some kind of like balls to do it in the first place, and you're not scared under the surface, and you really, really want to do it. He's like, "Hey, man, I'm, I'm down. I want to do this. I want to, you know, be one of the first. Because if you think about it, there hasn't really been anything in history since the colonization of, of you know, of the world where it'd yeah. be something this huge. Like this would be like the next like milestone in human history. Yeah, it is. It's the next milestone, man. In space." Yeah. Yeah, Well, you know, well, besides, you know, the moon landing, you know, yeah. Yeah. If that really happened. Yeah, I was about to say, if that, if if it really happened. (laughs) (laughs) They don't get on that shit. But, um, yeah, that, that's going to be like the next major thing, man. And I hope we do actually get there, man. You know, me being a, I'll be pessimistic about the percentage. You would be more, you know, optimistic than me. But I really do hope that it's successful. And they do get to like actually colonize it, and then maybe one day one of them gets to come back, yeah, and talk about it, man. But that wouldn't be that wouldn't be for years, like man, even decades, because like they would have to find something on the planet that could that could fuel the the machine, you know, fuel the spaceship to get them back. Oh God! Oh, they 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 ain't gonna have the proper things to get back. No, it's a one way trip, man. Damn! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a one-way trip. So, like I said, like, I respect you. You got the nuts to do this because you yeah coming back. It's a, it's a wrap for you. <laughs> You're going to die there, most likely. Damn. Most likely it, man. So, I don't know if, like, if you never, you know, did the things that you wanted to do before you can go. Like, the worst thing you could do is get on, like, like I want to try crack. Then hop on that plane and you can't get enough crack. <laughs> 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 oh, Nick, that would be awful. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. Hey, Jimmy, are you nervous? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and then go through the draws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that joke would be hilarious. Uh, but, back to them, man. We're going to keep y'all posted. Um, if anything else happens, man, and I remember back, um, one more one more thing, and then we'll go ahead and, you know, get into the topic of the show. I remember they uh at one point they said you had to put down like a hundred thousand dollars um to get in and then they said they were gonna like do like a sweepstakes because they were just they got so many participants that were willing to do it. Yeah, I I think it's up to two that two hundred thousand now. Like keeping it real, I would we would have to if it was me running the selection committee, like we would have to weed out some of the people that had like, you know, hereditary diseases. Yeah. And like I'm sorry, like I'm not trying to be God I'm like an elitist, but you know, that's not that's not the right term. But well, I mean, but you gotta think about it. It wouldn't make sense to send a bunch of people over there that you know could be easily affected by something, you know. Um, I, but then again, I don't know. Maybe somebody with a hereditary disease could be immune to whatever is you know over there. Or like them breathing. Like I just wonder how that's gonna work, man. It's gonna be very interesting, man. So man, yeah, I'm is. really I'm really looking forward to the future, man. And and keeping it like, like reading up on the articles and see who gets picked and showing their story. That'll be nice to chronologize, yeah. you know, chronologize their story, like where they've been, because you know they're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, that's interesting, man. So we definitely gonna, you know, keep a tab on that. But all right, man, let's go ahead and you know get to the topic. Let's get it real quick. Did we talk about um? Wasn't it something else we were supposed to talk about? Let's leave this in. Um, 
no, man, that was it. Cause we were gonna talk about uh Ray J bitch ass with with oh, yeah, yeah. Fashion, <laughs> uh, Elon Musk, and then I, I I you know I swooped in the Chamberlain Heights part. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is something special, ladies and gentlemen. You getting outtakes? Yeah, you get outtakes of this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we too lazy to edit this shit out, so we gonna leave it in. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, man. I don't, you, you, you want to think of something else we gonna talk about? Or are we good? No, nah, we good. Nah. Yeah, cause I can't think of nothing, man. Cause like only thing that's going on in the news right now is Trump and Hillary. I don't wanna talk about that bullshit. Yeah, we 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 straight on that. We all know this is gonna be a debacle. Yeah, man. Like shit. Ugh. Like yeah, that shit's gonna be fucking horrible. All right, man, let's go ahead and get to the top. You. Yeah. Okay, man, so I think it's I think it's overdue that we talk about this this issue that we have going on, you know, in society. And, you know, you got one in every group. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you have a lovable person that, you know, that's all down for you. And then you have the, the, the low-down, dirty, stinking, gutter trash hater <laughs> <laughs> that's in your midst. <laughs> what ST and I are going to do is we're going to try to you know give you clues and hints to find out or if for yourself look yourself in the mirror and say am I a hater mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one the number one thing about haters man and you can attest to this is haters can never be happy for anyone's success no matter how big or how small yeah. No matter what it is, like you can like I could <laughs> we can like go to the we can go to the club and we can just be chilling out and be like, Hey yeah man, I just got a raise in my job, man. So you know, over from making like fifteen an hour, I made like twenty dollars twenty eight dollars an hour. Mm. And then like he's gonna be like, Man, they ain't shit, man, you know what I'm saying? I got me t- I got two jobs and I got me a uh a crash of three hundred, man, you know. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? You ain't doing shit. You know, you working for the man. I'm out here slanging it. You like, you know, just Come to anything just to outdo somebody. You know, you always had that. You know, you a hater when you're a one upper. Yeah. Like you always like somebody that come up to you and be like, "Hey man, you know, I just you know I just hit the lottery. You mean I hit the lottery two times, man? Back in the day, like you ain't did shit. Like <laughs> you be like, like nigga, where this come from? Like what? <laughs> if you feel like that is normal, and you don't feel like guilty any kind of way, your ass is a hater. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh, number number two is haters are always happy for someone's flaws, <laughs> no matter how big or how small. And this goes more towards like females, where there's always one female in the group. If y'all like going out to the club, and one of your homegirls gets more play than you do, and then y'all could be having friends since like grade school, but you don't care because she, you know, what I'm saying she might she might be getting D'd up and you ain't getting no D. I was like, well, that bitch nose big anyway. Or <laughs> that bitch titties crooked. I saw them shits in the shower. They ain't all that. You know, them, them, them shits ain't suckable. Like, I got suckable titties right here. You know? <laughs> and then, like, and then, like <laughs> the next second, the girl be coming up like, girl, he get, I got his number. He's like, okay, I'll have for you, boo. And then on her mind, she was like, nah, that bitch got syphilis. I hope, no, like... <laughs> I hope that I hope that I hope that they didn't give you syphilis. <laughs> yeah, people are always like you like you look at yourself in the mirror. If you're always if you can if you can't go a whole day without looking at somebody or you know, looking at anybody, anybody in the magazine, you know, at you know, at your job, at you know, at home or at work, and you just look at them and you find a flaw within them. Yeah. Yeah, you are definitely a hater, dude. You are definitely a hater. Uh, another thing is haters tend to be big jealous people. They're always jealous of the next man. They're always trying to, you know, <laughs> never trying to you know uplift themselves. They're always looking at that person and just being you know envious of what they have and always just talking about stuff that they have and not trying to you know get shit for yourself. Yeah, you know, always trying to get in the next man's pockets. That's another. That's another sign of just being a big ass hater. Where, you know, you'll see, like, like somebody get a deal. Like, I see this junk a lot, man, especially when I used to go to the barbershop. Like, somebody uh, get, like, a new um, a new signing bonus for on a football team. Let's just say, like, it's Michael Vick. Like, Michael Vick got, like, a new yeah. signing bonus, and you be up, you know, getting your hair cut. Be like, you mean when that nigga threw, like, eight, you know, eight interceptions that one game? That nigga garbage. <laughs> 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 and then, and then I'll be sitting, I was sitting in the, in the um, 
the bomber chat, like, man, at least he in the league. Like, why you hate yeah. this dude? You know what I'm saying? Just because he has it, you don't, because he uses God given talent, which God gave us all talent to do something great. It just, with his talent, he can monetize it a lot easier than any other talents that we have, just because this is a society that we built. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we did. We have a built society where, you know, in most cases, being intelligent will get you millions. To a certain degree, it is, but it's easier yeah. to just to, you know, have physical talents. And that's why you see mostly, you know, people like actors that were like Harvard graduates, MIT graduates, you know, get into acting. Because yeah. they, they know the deal, man. They know where the money is. Yeah. They know where the money is. They know, you know, it's it's easier just to do that than to, you know, like, cure a disease. You're not going to be as famous. That's kind of yeah. sad, too. You're not going to be as famous as, like, a Brad Pitt or, like, a Denzel Washington, and you, like, you cure cancer. Yeah. I, I mean, we'll just, you know, look at look at our athletes, man. Like, um, yeah. what's the name of the kid that he would – he had a chance to be, a, what, a Rhodes Scholar, but – this nigga chose at the end of the draft anyway. <laughs> Xavier Rose. I remember that dude. Yeah, man. He played, the, he played for the Titans for like two years and um, went ahead and, you know, no telling what he's doing now. But that dude yeah. smart, man. But Yeah. He was definitely smart. He he knew what he knew what the deal was. Like, man, why should I use my intelligence to, you know, to better the world when I can, you know, make these make multi million dollars playing a sport? Yeah, real quick. Yep, yeah, that just shows that, that we as a country um, pretty much, we value entertainment over intelligence. We yeah, do. We value the wrong things. We value the wrong things, man. Like we'd rather we'd rather give you a million dollars to put a ball in a hoop, uh, and like sport some shoes and sell some shoes to some kids than to you know get people through college or teach them something new to make them a little bit smarter. Yeah. Yeah, man. Lola the masses to sleep, dude. <laughs> Lola the masses to sleep, man. That's real talk. We ain't trying to get too deep. We trying to be funny in this episode. <laughs> and then, like another another thing that's uh another thing that haters always do is they always bad mouth and gossip and persuade other people to hate you. That's like the number one thing they love to do all day long. Yeah. Yeah. They just try to find a way to get one of your your deepest darkest secrets and then spread that shit. So they try to get close to you so they can find out one of your secrets and they just spread it. And try to find ways for people just to hate you, just because they hate you as much. They, they be the main one when you lose all your friends, just looking at you like, oh, oh what happened? <laughs> 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 and then like they turn their head, like just on that thriller, you know, Michael Jackson thriller uh, video, and the- <laughs> 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 having that smile as they hugging you. It's, like, it's, yep. it's gonna be okay, boo. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> That'd be the main ones, dude. They'll, they'll come up with something. They can't find no dirt on you. They'll, like, Google search your ass to find stuff on you, man. Like, yeah, but, yeah, speaking of, speaking of which, man, that shit's kind of crazy. Have you ever, like, Googled yourself? Nah, I don't do that. Yeah, man, I, like, Googled myself, and I found a whole bunch of stuff. I was like, wait a minute, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> After that happened, I, like, like lowered some of my settings, like, took out some of my settings off of Facebook. And I was like, man, this is too much information that's out there. Yeah. <laughs> just look up and they can just have on me. They walk to me. They walk up to me like, yeah, you went to this school. This your siblings and all that. You really could do it to somebody now because everybody got all that their whole lives on the internet. Pretty much, man. Uh, that's the reason why you don't do that kind of crap, though. Yeah, you know, and some stuff got to be private, y'all. It's just it's too easy for people to you know get anything that they want about you, and especially if they hating. Oh man, yeah. it's, it's it's the perfect opportunity for them to ruin your life. So yeah, that's the, yeah they they especially if you go on Facebook and you say I had a bad day today or like you were once you were married and then it shows that you had that you broken up and then you just see them smiling <laughs> like you like <laughs> like a dark room with like a blue light and like like putting <laughs> off their face like an evil smile <laughs> like good 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 <laughs> uh, or. You know, you know you're a hater if somebody comes to you with like a sad story and like while they're telling you the sad story, like like on your outward appearance, you're like, oh man, you know I feel for you, but inside you're like dancing with glee. Yeah. Like, yeah, like man, my my girlfriend left me, man, and you know she took off, like she destroyed my house, you know, 
you know, wrecked my car and shit. He's like, oh, man, that's fucked up, man. The whole time he laughed like, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, the next minute, like, that dude running off telling somebody else your business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, talking about, like, because he, he hates so much, he having because you down. He telling you telling about your misfortune, man. That's the a, that's a one thing, like, how do people get to that point where they just, it's just so much disgust and hate with, within their body, man? I don't know how it happens. I guess it's just they, they fail so much in life or they were probably rejected. When, you know, they try to ask someone out or they try something and they failed and then that was it. They, like, just failed once and then they just gave up. Yeah. And they see somebody else succeed at where, you know, where they fail. They just hate on them. That's where, I guess, where that's where it really comes from. Well, you know, that, that old saying that says misery loves company, you know. So, you know, if 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 everything for you ain't going right, like why why would you want something but to go right for somebody else? It's just... This is how it is. That's definitely true, man. Right, we gotta do better, people. Uh, another, another thing that um, <laughs> you need to look at yourself in the mirror and see if you know you're a hater. If you always focus on negative aspects of really great people, like you, <laughs> 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 like you, you can be somebody that's like he's a like you can be like a female that's just like extremely positive. She's nice to everybody. She'll bring in donuts to work. You know, she's generally nice. She like donates her time. You know, to fight, you know, to, you know, disadvantage kids. She has like a, you know, a my, you know, big sister program that she does. She, you know, she's like a Girl Scout troop leader. Yeah. And she's always nice. And then you just look at it and be like, you know what? Her eyes crooked, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or some steak shit like that. Or you like, I remember one time we was at like a, a Christmas party. Her breath stank smelled like hot ass. Like, <laughs> and then she was like two years ago. You still bringing that shit up? <laughs> like you know you definitely have an issue with yourself yeah. and not that person if you're hating on somebody that's that great man because there's not a lot of you know there's not a lot of good people that's left you know let me not say that there's a lot of great people that are, you know are still around yeah you know that's in the world but not as as many as you know nothing really gets them down they're always happy i'll never forget that this one um girl i used to work with i'm not gonna name her name we'll just call her tammy they used to work at work with me, work with me at one of my jobs. I don't care what was going on in her life. Every time I went to work, she would had a smile on her face, and she was always trying to help somebody. Yeah. I was like, man, Tammy, why are you like? Why are you just so gleeful and so joyful? It's time about it's like, because I'm alive. Yeah. Like, and I was like, man, I wish I could have your uh your outlook on life. And you know, I go stub my toe and be cussing the world out like. <laughs> 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 I'm a fucking dog, man. I'm hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, those kind of people need to be left alone, man. Those kind of people need to be nurtured because those kind of those people are the ones that touch and you know influence other people when they're having a bad day and uplift other uplift others. So those people definitely need to be you know left alone and, and not be hated on. Yeah. Uh, another thing that causes people to, you know, be haters. Uh, haters are always take things or people personally. <laughs> uh, yeah. That shit happens a lot. Like, somebody could be, uh, somebody could have, like, a nice outfit on, and it's like, uh, it's like, dude, like, he gets some, like, he gets some new shoes, and he got, like, a nice, a nice pair of gear on. And, like, man, them shoes don't go with your outfit, man. That shit look ugly, man. You might want to switch some shoes out. Or, <laughs> or some shit where a female will have like a certain kind of lipstick on and it I guess it doesn't you know I don't know where your females work but you know this uh, that's just anything just petty where like your lipstick color don't shade don't go with your complexion or some bullshit like that yeah and, and the girl like well you know you may be right that shit might be banging and you gonna listen to that hating ass bitch <laughs> yeah. you no know, play like shit that, that shit happens all the time man what's some other examples you got for uh, haters st Man, I mean, most of them that you mentioned are, are, are pretty prominent. Like you might have, you know, some that you know, just for the fact that you are having a good day, they might hate on you just for that fact, that, uh, the fact that you, you know, have something to smile about, you know, <laughs> or the fact that you, you know, are in a good mood. That's that's enough right there for anybody to, you know, I, I guess to to be haterish. You know, to you know, to try to you know bring your day down. You know, anybody that's willing to just make some any, you know, some off the wall comment to to I guess 
to knock you off your post. You know? <laughs> yeah, that shit. That shit happens a lot, man. Yeah, you know, I, just, that shit a lot. Yeah, it's, it's it's people. Sometimes you gotta know to you know just ignore haters. Like, don't even address a hater because a lot of times when you address a hater, you give the hater more power. And you know, if somebody says something that's you know just off the cuff, you know, out the way towards you. You know, either laugh or, you know, like Cat Williams says, just get get about seven, eight laughs off of them and, you know, <laughs> go on about your business because, you know, there's <laughs> you know, no point you even addressing them. No, so. it's really not, man. That's what, that's what fuels, that's what really fuels them, man. And haters have been around. Yeah. Yeah, since the beginning of time. But I think the area, the age that we live in, it just breeds them constantly yeah. because of the Internet. You're a faceless, anonymous person on the internet and you can just spew hatred like you know every single day and then what <laughs> what's so funny man because I, I mentioned this last week's episode uh, on south park where um kyle's dad was going around like putting like <laughs> bad comments about lesbians on uh the internet which causes like a prominent <laughs> like <laughs> it caused a prominent politician to commit suicide <laughs> And the whole time he was just coming up with just crazy things to say to her. He's like, I'm not going to let this troll get to me. And I'm going to stay strong. And then, like, the next day, like, you see her just jumping out of, like, a building, like, landing on the car and dying. He was like, oh, my God. He was like, did I go too far? And then, like, he, like, smiles real hard and takes a sip of wine. He was like, nope. (laughs) (laughs) That's just, like, the Internet, this age that we live in, like, this uh, technology age that we live in, like, has not stifled haters or trolls, but also just gave them give them courage just because you have like the the thumbs up, thumbs down on every comment that you make. Like you can go like you can go like a random like go like to like a a random YouTube video like a, of a cover song. Like type in a song a popular song to type in cover and then just listen to somebody's song that they're singing. If they sound like halfway decent or or bad, that like I guarantee you I can put money on it. The first out of the first five comments, like at least two of them gonna be negative. Yeah, yeah. Man, all, the, like, all the time. Yeah, hey, all the time, man. Cause like, what? <laughs> like, there's no consequences to to being an asshole online. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> there's none whatsoever, <laughs> man. So you can really... <laughs> unless you're just bold enough to figure out their IP address and follow mm-hmm. them home, and then. <laughs> 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 Like you follow them home and be like, you mean what you said to me in 2011 or December 5th? You be like, no man, I don't remember that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that could be something as simple as you you can't sing or some shit like that. I'm like, you gonna kill me for this? <laughs> uh, are you bad intentions? 29? Yeah, <laughs> deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you had to, like, if they made, like, mandatory where the government was like, you have to put, like, if you ever, like, write a comment down, it has to be, you know, you have to put in your real information to be able to use any of those websites, man, there would be a lot less trolling going on, man. Yes, it would. Man, period. That shit would stop at an instant, man, because cause people that I've, I've, you know, everybody has, you know, has read or heard about, you know, people on Facebook you know, getting killed for, you know, starting beefs online because they actually, like, had their real names out there or, like, somebody, like, flashing and flaunting some money and then the next day they get robbed and killed. I never forget that jump. Like, I read a story um, in New York where this guy just, like, he, like, flashed $100,000 worth of cash on on, uh, Facebook and they got got him the next day. Dang, yo. Not Mm -hmm. the next day. Like, five dudes just went up to his house and blew his brains out and took the money. Dang. Yeah, man, you can't you can't be out here boasting like that, man. Especially if you know the kind of climate that you're in, man. You gotta gotta keep that yeah. shit on the low, man. Yeah. yeah, you really do, man. It's sad that it, it's come to this. Like you can't even, you know, flaunt with your flaunt with your money. Yeah, like, I why, mean, why would you want yeah, to you wait yeah, up? Yeah, exactly. It's just simple fact that you know there are haters out there that will do some stuff like that. Will yeah. come and and try to kill you, and just take some quick cash like. You know, you gotta, we gotta be smarter about stuff like that, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's not, it's not worth it to try to show haters up. It's just not because nine times out of ten, 
they are more that are willing to come get you than than, 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 than the ones that you showing up. So just just stop it. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah stop it. <laughs> like real talk, man. Just just let that shit go, man. Yeah. Like and think about it. It's gonna get you like what? Like maybe two, like, two seconds of, of of fame or something. A gratification and like <laughs> like twenty likes. What the fuck? The likes get you. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? There's some comments. Like, what? What's that really gonna get you, man? That's gonna get you like just a little bit of just self gratification for two seconds. You can be back to where you are. Use that money. Use that money to you know invest it. You know and uplift yourself and just not like flash it. Yeah. Yeah, man. That that joke was jacked up, dude. I never forget that. Uh, I was like, man, that wasn't a good idea whatsoever. When I <laughs> when I see people online and. It, it, and they be like, yeah, man, just, you know, got my plug in. I say something stupid, you know, some real yeah. ghetto. Like, I got my plug in today, you know, and they, like, got the, the stack of money like, up to their ear. And I'm like, oh, they're not going to have that long. <laughs> yep. Because yep. people don't think, and they always, they always going to, like, have that one shady friend. And they think they're going to have that one hater in the group. Yep. They get you set up, man. I'm telling you, you got to watch awesome. your back. All the time. All the time, man. And speaking of which, another thing that makes you a hater is on the internet, haters can't even ignore someone's lame internet status, no matter what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody could be saying, like, going to the gym. You're like, man, take your fat ass to the gym. You need me, you need me lifting them weights. Or just say something just like, uh, yeah, just got done, you know, got done coming from church, you know, got the word in. Man, forget yeah. your word. You know, just yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. anything, just just random, just to make themselves make themselves feel better and get like a little cheap chuckle. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, man. I will say this: like sometimes those comments be hilarious, man. They do. <laughs> they really do. Cause I mean, let's face it: the internet world can be downright hilarious. They can be, <laughs> they can be mean, but at the same time, it'd be some of the most funniest things you'll ever read in your life. Yeah, like I said, man, like, like I told uh, when I told one of my coworkers, I was like, maybe you ever having a bad day, just go on the internet, man, or go on Twitter for a little while. You'll see something funny. Yeah. Like, you'll definitely see something funny. You'll see, like, a funny comment that somebody just saying something, like, real funny, like, real scandals they shouldn't be saying. <laughs> and you'll get, like, a little small little chuckle out of it, and you gotta look yourself in the mirror and be like, should I really be laughing at this? <laughs> I never, man, I'm trying to think of like a situation where I saw something that wasn't, that was funny as hell and it shouldn't have been. <laughs> and that shit happens to be a lot where I catch myself like, like crying like with tears in my eyes. You be like, yeah. this not funny. <laughs> this not funny at all. But man, it, it just never happens a lot. So you know how, you know how the old saying is like everybody has a, a place in life. Yeah. There's a place for trolls and haters. Yeah, we need them, man, so we can tell the difference between you know somebody that's being successful and that's a good person, and somebody that's a bad person that has you know character flaws. Yeah, yeah, and that's just that's just real talk, man. So if you were you know if you listen to this and you were you know slick like looking like looking yourself in the mirror and agreeing with half of these things you do them, you know you might need to change you know change your habits for the better. Cause it's it's, it's counterproductive. Cause in the end, it's just gonna increase your insecurities. Yeah, and you know, also you don't get anything done, man. You really don't, man. Those haters spend their whole day worrying about what other people are doing and not yeah, not you're not not getting that shit done. That shit always yeah. happens. You waste your whole day. You spend your whole day trolling people, and then you know, you get you something to eat, troll some more, and the sun go down. Eat this shit. You know, you're wasting the day of your life. Pretty much. Yeah, waste of time. Definitely waste of time, man. So, y'all need to, you know, need to get off that bullshit, stop that hating. You know what I'm saying? Stop uplifting yourself, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you got anything else, St? No, nah, man. I think you got it this week, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So, y'all go ahead and you know hit us up on Facebook and uh, Twitter. Follow us at Blank Canvas E C S T, and also hit that subscribe and you know that follow button on um on iTunes and you know Audio Mac and you know. We're sorry about, you know, the, you know, technical difficulties we had with, you know, iTunes, you know, for the past, like, week and a half, you know. Yeah. Google, Google them, you know, they done, and then, you know, trying to, you know, throw some salt in game. They fucking up. Yeah, they fucking up. So we had to, you know, we found our way around it. You know how we do. Yeah. We figure stuff out. You know, I was up at three in the morning. They will never get us. Now, there's always going to be an option. Trust me. We 
we're always gonna find a way. But yeah. man, we, yeah, but we uh we we love y'all, man. We love y'all support, man. Y'all stick with us, man. Yeah. And we man, we'll see y'all next week. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram too. Oh yeah, best to hit us up on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Episode number twenty nine. We gonna holler at y'all next week. Yeah. Peace, haters. Thank you for listening to the Plate Canvas Podcast. We'll see you next week. Ooh, no matter. <laughs> Ooh.